Are there any unspoken prayer requests you can make them known by the raising of your hand? Amen. Let us all bow our heads in prayer. For Heavenly Father, in the precious name of Jesus, Lord, I want to thank you, Lord, for this opportunity, Lord, to come before your throne of grace. Lord, I want to thank you, Lord, for blessing us to wake up this morning clothed in our right minds with a reasonable portion of our health and our strength. Lord, I want to thank you, Lord, for your angels that you have been kept around and balanced, Lord, keeping us safe, Lord, from dangers seen and unseen. Lord, for guiding us safely over the dangerous highways and byways, Lord, and protecting us all day, Lord, as we work and toil, as we made our way to the house of God this evening. Lord, I want to thank you, Lord, for all that you have and all that you're going to do, Lord, for the water baptism in your precious name and the infant of the Holy Ghost. Lord, I want to thank you, Lord, for your sweet presence that we feel in this sanctuary, Lord, when we walk through the doors. Lord, I ask, Lord, right now to look upon all these prayer requests, Lord, that have been that have sent before you, Lord. Touch and move in each one of them, Lord, according to your will, Lord Jesus. Lord, I ask, Lord, that you also bless the word, Lord, that we're about to receive. Lord, give us ears to hear, Lord. Open up our hearts that we may receive your word. Let your word fall from good ground, Lord, and take root in our heart. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. <laughs>
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. I want to invite your attention to the book of Philippians, yeah. chapter 3, verse 3 through 11, and 2 Chronicles 20, verse 14 and 15. Amen. Philippians chapter 3, beginning verse 8, King James Version. Yea, doubleth, 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 and I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus, my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them but none, that I may win Christ, and be found in him, not having my own righteousness, which is of the law, but that which is through the, through the faith of Christ, the righteousness which is of God by faith. Mm -hmm. That I may know him mm -hmm. and the power of his resurrection and a fellowship of his suffering, yeah. being made conformable unto the death, if by any means I might attain unto the resurrection of the dead. Second oh, yeah. Chronicles 20. Begin at verse 14, King James Version. Then upon Jezreel, the son of uh, Zechariah, the son of Bele, the son of Jerob, the son of Matthiah, a Levite, of the sons of Asher, came the Spirit of the Lord in the midst of the congregation. And he said, Hearken ye all Judah, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem, and the, and those the king of the king Joseph, Joseph. Thus says the Lord unto you, Be not afraid nor dismayed by reason of this great multitude, for the battle is not yours, but God. What? May the Lord have blessed you with this word. Hallelujah. 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 Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. Lord, we bless your name tonight. Hallelujah. We praise you all tonight. Amen. In Jesus' name. Will you clap your hands unto the Lord? Yeah. I don't know who this word is for, but the Lord gave me a word. And the word was the best days are coming. Amen. So Paul understood how to handle very tough circumstances. Even while he was confined in a prison cell, uh -huh. he kept his eyes on Christ and trust firmly in the Savior. I was told, amen, that when we look at a prison, we think of a prison cell right. with doors on it. But Apostle Paul was in a hole in the ground. A Roman prison, that's right. Uh, and 
they didn't have water fountains. No, they didn't. And they didn't have beds. Amen. They simply slept on the floor. Amen. Therefore, despite being in chains, he was able to celebrate the Lord's work in his life. I, Brother Rhodes, when you look at what he went through, and, and this man is actually celebrating. Yeah. Amen. He is celebrating his suffering. Yeah. 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 Amen. Amen. We gotta get to a place in Christ. Amen. To celebrate. Yes. Yes. And things yes. ain't going that way. Uh huh. Oh yeah. But to celebrate. To celebrate. Somebody celebrate right now yes. to the Lord. You let go shout them over the God. Oh yes. My, 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 my. In fact, the epistles he wrote from the jail to the Philippians was filled with nothing but rejoicing. Philippians 1 and 18, Philippians 2 and 18, and 3 and 1. I was looking at that 3 and 1. Somebody get that real quick. And notice, in the beginning of his assessment, what did he say? Philippians 3 and 1. He started out. Amen. Who got it? Quick, 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 quick. He and I go, go ahead, sister. Go ahead. What did he say? Finally, my brethren. Finally, my brethren. Rejoice in the Lord. Rejoice in the Lord.
had to deal with so many difficult circumstances. But what kept him going was not to stew over those difficult circumstances. But his eyes were steady on the Lord. His hope was in Christ. And defeat couldn't exist in him because his heart was wrapped up in Jesus Christ. Will you clap your hands unto the Lord? Thank the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm not saying you'll forget what you're going through, but you can choose to dwell on God's provision. Yes. And care instead. Yeah. 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 Uh, you know, part of the text in Second Chronicles. Amen. Here is a host of that. Up against a child which was considered to be very difficult. But he had a relationship with God. Instead of trying to find a solution to the problem, he simply ran to the Lord. That's what we have to make up in our mind. Stop trying to find solutions. Run to the Lord because he has a way. Come on, let's thank the Lord for his gift. He has a way. Praise God. The man of God revealed to him. He prophesied to him. He said, look here. The battle is not In your difficult circumstances, give them to the Lord. Come on, let's praise the Lord. Father. Give them to the Lord and trust the Lord. Yes. That's what we got to do. The Bible tells us in 2 Corinthians 1 and 10, He is a deliverer. Right. Deuteronomy 32 and 39, He is a healer. That's right. Proverbs 3 and 6 make this statement. He is a guide. Glory. All we need is Jesus. Yeah. Amen. That's all we need is Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Why do we sometimes choose to simply block finding solution? Stewing over the problem. Trying to come up with a solution. Look what happened with Jehoshaphat. He stood over the situation for a little while. Yeah? He did. Because he was a man of like passion. But he made up his mind. Not to stew over it, but he said, I'm going to turn to God. <laughs> and the Lord gave him a word. Folks, when we're going through difficult times, God will give us a word. <coughs> That's like the whole fact, because God is not a respected person. Right. Will you clap your hands into the Lord? The believer who lays claim to divine promises discover that God, he pushed back negative emotions. He 
push them back. Yes. You tell me that Paul didn't have to deal with negative emotions. Amen. You tell me that Jehoshaphat didn't have to deal with negative emotions. But because they trust in the Lord, the Lord pushed back the negative emotions. Come on, let's praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He pushed it back. You see, in their place, you know what he gives us? He gives us hope, confidence, contentment, and then he takes residence in our heart. Yeah. I ain't going nowhere. I ain't going nowhere. Not even in my heart. Yeah, you clap your hands on the Lord. Thank you. Oh, yes. You're not going to be happy about difficult situations. But you can be satisfied. The bottom line, that God is in control. And he's up to something good. Paul called 
to rejoice in the Lord always. Man, that's the Philippians 4 and 4. You know? But we have to take care of this mindset. Somebody asked me, he said, what did you have for breakfast? I said, then we had then a bowl of egg. Is that all you eat is a bowl of egg? I said, is that the mind? Right. <laughs> is this the mind? That's the mind. We have power in the mind. Right. Right. Remember? Amen. That's what Paul had. When he was going through difficult situations, he never allowed the devil to control his emotions or his mind. He maintained his focus on the Lord. And the Lord delivered him you clap your hands up to the Lord. Thank you. Uh, you know, when we, we think about uh, even David, man after God's own heart, but he too had to suffer. Better days is coming. 
Better days is coming. Come on, shout out to the Lord. Hallelujah. Better days is coming. Somebody shout out to the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Better days is coming.